Hello friends and welcome back to the Inner Realms. We are here in our villager trading hall carved out of the caves deep deep below the monolith. Uh, I've been um, I've been rebuilding my armor, replacing my armor because uh, something something happened. So over here at our lovely base, oh, I love it. I am so enjoying it. There is a little naturally spawning cave that has been here the whole time. And uh, I've been messing around in here. I've been growing some dripstone. And uh, we brought a, we, we made a little map of our area so we could see what our area looks like. But uh, I also moved, I also moved our, um, our lava farm. I moved it over here. And, uh... And, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that didn't, that didn't go too well. Oh, no. I know, pretty crazy, right? You're probably asking, Shepard Sean... Why are you even messing about with the lava? Well, let me tell you. Lava as of 117 and thanks to dripstone is a renewable resource. And what that means is we can just keep collecting it up and I can keep putting it in this chest up here. And thanks to this little mechanism I've created here, that's going to flow right over and down into these two furnaces. Now, come on, you know you know lava works in furnaces, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, lava, lava will smelt like a, a hundred items. A hundred items! And when it's done, it'll just, it'll just drop the bucket along with everything it smelted, and hey, you got the bucket back. And then when these fill up, you just come over here, toss some more in, and we have a completely renewable Smelting furnace. Unlike how slow dripstone grows, this lava, it fills up pretty quickly. Now, I'll enlarge this at some point, and I'll add a, a mine cart that goes through and drops the items in to get them burning, but for for right now, this will suit our needs. So let's head back into our storage room, and, uh, you know, trying to swim in lava, that, um... That got me thinking. Maybe we need some armor that doesn't burn in lava? So here we are in the nether. I I don't know if I showed you this yet, but uh, Keegers, where's Keegers? Here you go, here's Keegers Community Center. Keegers and I spent, oh, we spent a good day bringing all of the nether portals up here to the top of the nether. So we've got our own little nether hub here. We've got, uh, we've got DTGFG over there. We've got Miner and Rees base here. Uh, we've got Cubsy's base over there, Josh's base over there. And it all links up, if I head over this way, to our island central hub. And just for location sense... Uh, this is the, uh, this is the stairway that goes down into that crimson forest. Oh, look. Hey, look at that guy. Yeah, he wants to kill me. I don't, I don't have any iron on. So let's put on our safety pants and go find a place in the nether. We can, uh, start mining netherite and then maybe our gear won't be so susceptible to lava. So I'm way out here in the middle of the nether, uh, in the nether wastes, underneath the massive lava ocean, and I've dug down, I've dug down to level 14, 13, 14, I didn't want to go for 15, which I know is the number you're supposed to go for, but, uh, there's a lot of lava above my head. Notice, notice, I've got the fire resist potions on my bar because I do not want to mess with lava. But I'm gonna start digging and I'll bring you back in when I have found some netherite scrap. Ah, 
And there we go. Oh, let me tell you how many how many of these rows? How many of these rows have I done? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. We finally found it. Let's see if we only get one piece. Yeah, it's looking like it's just just one piece. Okay, let's uh, let's get rid of some netherrack. No, I don't want you. Yeah, there you go. I want the ancient debris. Now look at this. I'm getting tons of gold, tons of quartz. In fact, I brought a couple shulker boxes. Let's set those down. Let's make a little spot right here at the bottom of the stairs, and let's set down our shulker boxes and load them up. So let's keep going, see if we find some more. By the way, in case you're wondering why I didn't get the achievement when I got that first netherite uh, scrap, that's because Dracolus... Where'd I go? Here I am. Uh, that's because Dracolus earlier, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, he tossed me one just as a gift. So we should have one or two of them at home already. We're going to keep going because we want to get ourselves some lava safe gear. And beautiful number two. I will take it. Oh, two of them. Perfect. Perfect. Anything else? Any more, guys? Guys? No, no more. Okay, we're going to keep going. Four. And look, five and six. Five and six. Any more? Nothing more. Let's keep going. Okay, so this fire resist potion, um... It uh, just saved my life. We got a big pocket of lava in here that just doesn't want to go away. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't like lava. I, I don't like lava one bit. Uh, just uh, just go watch the uh, Josh and Sean show over, uh, over on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Shepard Sean. And uh, you'll see, I do not like lava. But we got three minutes of uh, fire resist potion here, so let's get using it to clear up this lava. One thing that's fun to find when you're down here looking for netherite scrap is these big pockets of gravel. I can collect it and take it back and use it for cement, but... Um, it also opens up a huge area really quickly, so we might find some more netherite. Yeah, I guess that also opened uh, some lava. Well, back to mining. Ooh, we found number seven. Eight. Nine. Here's ten. Eleven. I'll take it. Twelve. That's enough to do all of our armor. Ah! Lava! Who needs fire resistance? I need fire resistance. Thirteen. Ooh! Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. And eighteen. Nineteen. And here we have number twenty. And twenty-one. What? And twenty... Three? 22. 20, 20, 22 comes after 21. Come on, Sean, do math. Okay, well, we got 22 of these things, and I want to get to about, I think I figured out 38. 38, 40, that'll get us about what we need. So I'm not going to show you this anymore. I'm going to keep collecting it, and I will be back when we have all the netherite scrap we should need to get all netherite up. Oh, yeah. Well, here we are back in the base, and here are the spoils of war, or the spoils of lava, as the case may be. Let's see what we got. We got a ton of quartz. In fact, I didn't have enough room for it in my shulker boxes, so I made some of it up into blocks of quartz. I only, I only wish, Mo Yang, if you're listening, uh, c could we be able to break blocks of quartz back down into nether quartz? It'd be nice to be able to do that. I uh, got a whole bunch of blackstone, 
We got tons of gravel. It really is a great way to get gravel. Just go looking for netherite. You'll find these huge pockets where you get four or five stacks each pocket. Uh, we picked up some basalt on the way, ran into a basalt delta. And yeah, yeah, we got we got some gold. I'm hoping this is enough gold to use to make our netherite scrap because we got some more gold here. And we've come back, ladies and gentlemen, with 45 ancient debris. So let's toss them in our lava smelter. I find it uh, kind of ironic that we built a lava smelter to make ancient debris to protect us from lava. Oh, look at this. We've been in the nether a while. <laughs> Collect it all up. Now to craft up all these gold nuggets into gold ingots. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think... I think we're going to have enough <laughs> to make the netherite. And here is our 45 netherite scrap. Let's see how many netherite ingots we can make. 11. <laughs> it just it's just so expensive. But the good news is we've got enough to do all of our armor and tools. I should probably switch out my gold pants. They were nice in the 80s, but not now. You don't mind if I use your smithing table, do you? Of course not. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to netherite armor. And look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, welcome baby. And we've even got two left over. We'll keep those. <laughs> Thank you, Troj. So you're probably wondering what kind of dangerous lava related thing we're gonna be doing since we've got all this lovely netherite armor. And the answer is, we're building a shop. If I ever land here, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna build a shop. I just, I have to land and I, for some reason I'm not landing. Why am I falling so slowly? Thank you, there, I landed. So I've been noticing here, um, there's, there's some stuff popping up. Uh, I don't know what this is. What, what's this yellow? What's this? Closed by Phantom High Queen. Hmm. Isn't she the one who wanted us to bring her a bunch of phantom heads? I'm getting the feeling she's not on the side of the Divine Moo. Well, we'll just have to keep thinking about that, but I just want to show you some of these great builds Jurassic's is doing. Uh, he's got this. Oh, look at this. I love the style. He does it so well. And what is this? This is, please remove shoes. But I, but I, but I just made them. Okay, fine. I'll take them off. I look so silly without shoes. Uh, okay, please remove shoes and ring the bell. Uh, what do we got here? Let's see. Please donate generously. I assume we donate in the barrel. Yes, people are donating. How nice. Uh, we can get fireworks. Okay, I, we have a source of those. Um, your gifts are well received. Ooh, golden apple. What is it? Ooh, XP boost. Well, we get that over at our villager farm. And ooh, golden carrots. Hmm. Did I mention we're going to build a shop? I, Part of the reason I'm over here looking at these shops is because I want to see if I can figure out what kind of shop we should build. Okay, who am I, who am I kidding? I'm, I, I know exactly what kind of shop I'm going to build, and it involves lava. But before we do that, in addition to Troj's wagon here, I'm curious, does he have anything new? Ooh, he's got end rods now. Uh, everything in here looks the same. Oh, wait, no. He's selling iron now. Okay. Got to keep that in mind. But also, we've got this shop over here. I'm not sure who set this up. This might be Keegers. Is this Keegers? 
Equal Trades welcome. Welcome to Dragon Tears and Dragon Respawn Kits. Feed me slime and obsidian. Oh, we can get you some slime. Oh, and crystals and gas tears. Yep, those are definitely Dragon Respawn Kits. Although, we might be able to find some other uses for these items. I'm getting distracted, aren't I? So here we are on the nether roof where we're going to build the farm that's going to stock the shop that's going to keep the high move very pleased. So let's get building. Well, if you haven't figured out yet, this is a hogland farm. And I've been AFKing all the way up there for about the last 15 minutes. And I want to show you just what we got. You see, a hogland farm is one of the easiest farms to build. Uh, they, they hate those little mushrooms, and so they will run right into the lava in the middle. Uh, I've added three platforms here. We could expand out with a fourth. Uh, we could make it a big circle, we could add multiple levels, but let me just show you. Just these three platforms, 15 minutes, two stacks, and a half. Plus, how much leather is that? No, that's, al that's almost three stacks, half a stack of leather. Imagine if I hung out up on this thing for an hour, or a couple hours, or overnight, we'd have pork chops coming out of our ears. And you know what? Pork chops are going to be perfect on the island because they aren't steak. So let me tell you about pork chops. I mean, I know everybody's like golden carrots this and golden carrots that. But pork chops, they're the... the look, I'm hiding. Pe Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Yeah, pork chops are the perfect food. And don't, don't take my word for it. Il Mango. Il Mango says pork chops best food in the game. So eat them. Eat the pork chops. Don't eat the golden carrots. Eat the pork chops. Got me? Oh, good. Good. I, I, I picked it up because I'm going to be hungry at some point here. And I'm, I'm going to have to eat, eat pork chops. Eat more pork. Eating pork chops is one thing, but you know what's something better? Subscribing to YouTubers you enjoy watching. So hey, Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode when we need to build Eat More Pork. Exciting times. See you next time.